Well, we thank you for joining us again for another proverb, another session in the Proverbs. And we are in chapter 5 of Proverbs. And there are some warnings, very graphic or detailed warnings uh, in the book of Proverbs about the sin of adultery. And even in the New Testament, Paul says that sexual sins are a different category in terms of consequences. All sin is sin, but there can be more devastating consequences to certain sins. And certainly that is the case with the sin of adultery. And he's talking about guarding your way from the immoral woman. Now, why am I saying that he's talking specifically about adultery? Because in the latter portion of this proverb, he gives a prescription and he, he talks about the man's wife. And so he's talking about a man who is married committing this sin. Well, let's read from Proverbs chapter 5. And again, warnings about being on guard against the immoral woman and the long-term negative devastating consequences of uh, sexual sin. Well, in Proverbs 5.15 we begin. Drink water from your own cistern and running water from your own well. Should your fountain be dispersed abroad, streams of water in the streets, let them be only your own and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth as a loving deer and a graceful doe. Let her breast satisfy you at all times and always be enraptured with her love. For why should you, my son, be enraptured by an immoral woman and be embraced in the arms of a seductress? For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. His own iniquities entrap the wicked man, and he is caught in the cords of his sin. He shall die for lack of instruction, and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray. Well, strong words of warning there at the end. But here's basically what he's saying is, Men, invest yourselves in your wives. Give yourself more fully to your wife. Enjoy the blessings of intimacy and enjoy the blessings of marriage and the woman that God has given you. And in our culture today, this might sound a little crude, drink water from your own sister. But here's what he's saying is, why go to an immoral woman when God has given you a wife and your wife is the best person for you because of the covenant of marriage? I've oftentimes thought that when people fall prey to an affair, if they would have taken the same emotional energy, the same financial uh, outlay and all that is involved with going after a moral woman and, and invested that same emotional energy and, and financial energy and time in their own wife, oh, they would have such a blessed marriage. And then in the end, if they go to another woman, they have shame and there's pain all around. And there is a warning here. They're giving their honor to another. And here he simply says, drink water from your own cistern and running water from your own well. Should your fountains be dispersed to broad streams of water in the streets? In other words, you could have such fulfillment in your own marriage. So focus on that. Don't let, if you're married, don't let anything draw you away from a greater investment in your own spouse. That's a great prevention and, and, and practical advice here from the author of Proverbs. Now notice also in the, in the last three verses, 21, 22, and 23, uh, there's, a, there's a stern warning here. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. His own iniquities entrap the wicked man, and he is caught in the cords of his sin. Two things. God sees everything. Nothing is hidden from God. And even though sexual sin promises pleasure, there is a trap here. There is bondage here. His own iniquities entrap the wicked man, and he is caught in the cords of his sin. He shall die for lack of instruction. In the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. This is a strong warning for pure living, especially in the area of sexuality. Sexual sins can be so devastating, and our culture is promoting it all the time. And so we need to raise the standard and come to the Word of God 
and heed the warnings of the Word of God. Proverbs 5, in summary, says, If there's an immoral woman, don't let your steps go near the door of her house. Stay away. Stay away. It also teaches us to invest in our own marriage relationship, in our, in, in our own wives, in our own spouses, so that we can have the blessing of God long term in our life. There is forgiveness. If you sin, come to Him. There is forgiveness. And He will help you rebuild your life. But prevention and staying clean and clear of this sin is far greater. So heed the words of wisdom and today walk in the way of wisdom. Let's end with prayer. Jesus, we do thank You for You forgiving and Your blood shed for all of our sins. But we also thank You for the clear warnings uh, of what the consequences can be for particular sins. I pray that there will be a new wave of purity in the church. I pray for a revival of purity and a revival of marriages, all based on your word. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.